Yeah, I don't know how you get the word clear from this. It starts with an X, uh, but you do, hmm. apparently. Breck Bolton is there at what I thought was X Lear, <laughs> but, it's, it, but it's clear. Yeah, what's the deal, Breck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would think that, you know, if you're traveling on I-15, right in American Fork, you see X Lear, but it's pronounced clear. That's the right name for the company. I'm joined here, Nate Jones, CEO. You're wondering, what is this company all about? It's based right here, of course, in Utah, in Utah County. Nate Jones, thanks for joining us here. You have quite the facility here. It's expansive here, a huge warehouse, all with the focus of making a certain health product that you're going to be talking about today. Now, tell us about your company. What is this based on? How did you get started? We got started because my dad is a, a physician. He's retired now, but he started about... Uh, in 2000, and he always, which he had all these kids who were coming into his office that had ear infections. Everybody's familiar with that, and he wanted to try to find something other than antibiotics to treat them after the fact. Okay. He wanted to find something to do preventative, and there were all these research studies back in the 90s that were coming out where dentists were using xylitol with the to arrest tooth decay, to stop tooth decay, and what. The side note of a lot of these studies was is the kids were using the xylitol gum. Not only were they not getting cavities, they were also getting about 42% fewer ear infections. Okay, so xylitol is kind of the main ingredient in your products, and it's like a sweetener alternative, but it has a lot of health benefits, and you put it in certain products that can provide those health benefits? Yes, we. Uh, it is a sugar. It looks like sugar, tastes like sugar. Um, it's a natural sugar uh, sweetener. Um, and the, the difference is, is the bacteria that cause a lot of these problems, the, the strep pneumo, H flu, bacteria that cause ear infection, bacteria that cause tooth, uh, tooth decay, they can't metabolize it. So we put it in toothpaste, we put it in mouthwash, we put it in chewing gum. My dad was the first one to actually put it into a nasal spray uh -huh. and spray it in your nose. Wow. So we're talking about a sweetener that provides health benefits battling certain infections and so forth, giving your family, your children some health benefits. And you have a lot of different products we're going to be going through out today. You mentioned the nasal spray. We're talking about gum, mouthwash. So we're going to understand your business, what's behind it, what's in the products, and how it can benefit, of course, everyone around and definitely help ben uh, benefit the, uh, the children. I have children who have ear infections. I need help also as you have the gum and the mouthwash. Maybe is bad breath a problem here? No. He's not standing too close to me right now, but we might need these <laughs> products here a little bit later on. So, uh, Nate Jones, we're going to be going throughout the day, kind of get behind the scenes of what you got going on here. So, come on back. We'll be going through all the various products and how they do it and why here in Utah we have right in our resource a great company that's trying to help uh, bring health to your uh, kids, your family with some great products. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, thanks, Breck.